Station 8. Concrete Beam Test Your concrete beams have now been curing for 7 days. They are ready to be removed from their curing locations for flexural testing. The plain beams, manufactured in week 10, will have been cured under damp hessian cloth and plastic sheeting at ambient temperature in the lab. The composite beams, manufactured in week 11, will have been cured in two locations. Half of the beams were cured in the lab at an ambient temperature of circa 20 degrees Celsius. The other half of the beams will be cured at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The industrial K-type thermocouple embedded in your composite beam will be used to measure the thermal profile of the concrete as it cures over a period of 7 days. Custom built temperature sensors have also been embedded in some group's beams. It is hoped that both sensors will pick up the heat generated during hydration as the exothermic reaction between cement and water takes place. As seen in your lectures, the temperature to which concrete is exposed during early age has significant effects on the strength of the material. This will become evident when viewing the results of both the flexural and compressive strength of the concrete from this batch. All of the mechanical testing data, as well as the temperature history of your beam from the K-type thermocouple, will be available on the departmental mini site. Please follow the links on screen or in the description below to access the data. All of the beams will be tested in the Zwick 1474 Universal Testing Machine. This electromechanically driven machine consists of a PC, controller and resistance frame. It can be used to apply either compressive or tensile forces to a specimen and has a capacity of 100 kN. A three-point bending configuration will be used for these tests. The beams will be simply supported over a span of 550 mm. A single point load will be applied at mid-span using the loading ram. As the load is applied, the beam will bend and deform. Material above the neutral axis will be subjected to compressive stresses. Conversely, material below the neutral axis will be subjected to tensile stresses. This will result in a maximum bending moment of PL over 4 at the centre of the beam. This will be a displacement control test, in which the loading ram is moved downwards at a speed of 1mm per minute. The test expert software on the attached PC will be used to set the desired loading rate, as well as to monitor the response of the beam. A plot of force versus displacement will be shown in real time on the monitor throughout the test. The current values of both force and displacement will be visible along the bottom banner within the software. These values will be measured with a load cell and displacement transducer respectively. Both of these sensors are built into the loading ramp. In week 11 you will bring your beam from station 5 where the hardened density was determined, to the experimental rig in the test hall. Please take a moment to check the condition of your beam. Note any air voids or defects within the specimen. To start the test, the demonstrator will place your beam into the machine. They will then bring the loading ram down until it almost contacts the top of the specimen. The test will then be initiated via the software. The desired loading rate will be applied to the beam until failure occurs. As for your lectures, concrete performs much better in compression than it does in tension. We therefore expect to see failure occur at the bottom of the beam. Since concrete is a brittle material, we also expect to see sudden failure of the specimen without much prior warning. Upon cracking, the force on the beam drops hugely and the test machine stops. The maximum force applied to the specimen, F max, is recorded by the software. Please note it down. 
An Excel file is automatically exported by the software upon completion of a test. This file includes a record of the displacement and force values throughout the duration of the test. It will be uploaded to the departmental mini site for use in your report. The beam can now easily be snapped simply by pushing down on it. It will be removed from the machine for inspection. Please check the cross section of your beam. Has it been well compacted? Has over compaction and hence segregation taken place? If so, please make a note of this. In week 12, you will test the composite beam produced by your group. This will take place in the same experimental rig within the test hall. Before commencing this test, some groups will have to cut the cable between the custom built temperature sensor and the Arduino. One group member will be responsible for removing the SD card from the unit in order to download the data. Please do this after completion of your lab session. The temperature history of the beam during curing measured by both the custom sensor and the embedded thermocouple can then be compared and contrasted. The test setup itself is identical to that previously performed on the plane beam. The addition of bamboo reinforcement will, of course, result in a different failure pattern as the columns improve the tensile capacity of the composite beam. Similarly, the use of more sustainable materials in these beams will also have an effect on performance and mechanical properties. Please note the differences in performance observed between the plane and composite beams, paying particular attention to crack patterns, bond strength and ductility. Your lecture notes will aid with understanding these variations. And that's it. You have now completed the experimental element of 1E12. We hope that you enjoyed your brief time working in the labs complex. With some luck, normality will return soon and you will have the opportunity to spend more time on campus in Trinity. Thank you for watching and best of luck to all of the groups in completing your reports.